Can it really have been five years? The memories of that day on Queen Street are so vivid that, while it doesn't feel like yesterday, it feels like it could have been last year, or at the most 18 months ago. Glasgow was distraught at the news of the bin lorry crash, the anniversary of which falls tomorrow, especially as it came so soon after that other awful disaster, the Clutha helicopter crash. I'm sure everyone who was in and around George Square has their memories and their fears still fresh in their mind after the events of December 22, 2014, especially those who were injured and who lost loved ones. The pain of the Morton, Tate, Ewing and McQuaid families must be particularly intense at this time of year and, with the repercussions of the crash still making the news, there's been little escape from it as the months and years have gone past. It has surprised me how difficult I have found the thought of the approaching anniversary. On that day I was on annual leave and had met a friend, over visiting from Canada, for lunch as a last-minute plan. I had intended to spend the day at home wrapping presents but wanted to catch up with my friend and she, in turn, wanted to go to Queen Street to a particular shop and then to eat in pret a -Manger. It was one of those chains of events where the unexpected and coincidence lead you to be in a particular place at a particular time. We were in Pret when the bin lorry went past. There were screams, the likes of which I had never heard before, and people leapt up from their seats so quickly that the chairs tipped over. I had completed first aid training and so I ran out, at first thinking someone had been hit by a car at the junction of Queen Street and St. Vincent Street. Everything was so confused at first. The road was clear of traffic, which I didn't consciously notice, but which made everything seem strange as people were walking about in the road or clustered in small groups. Each of those groups was gathered around a person lying on the ground. I saw two people, a woman and a girl, lying in the yellow box junction. I will never forget the sight of the woman, her stocking feet and her open eyes. Two off-duty medics came to help her and started CPR so I moved over to the girl, who was barely conscious, and I stayed with her. We were together for quite some time but I would never share what happened as I feel it's not my story to share, it's hers. Everything narrowed down to that yellow box junction and the girl. The woman next to us had died and another victim to the other side of us had also been beyond help. Covers were placed over them but beyond that I didn't have an awareness of what was going on. At the muster point the police directed us to, a family member was asking about their loved one. It was horrific knowing that the person they were a for more on this story, visit the news article link.